guys? Welcome to another video. I'm in New York City, coming to you guys from the uh, Chelsea neighborhood here in Manhattan. Got in a little late today. Figured I'd do a little vlog today. So uh, I know there's thousands of vlogs out there about New York City, but it's always a different experience for everybody here in the city. And uh, tonight, I think we're gonna head out and do a little photography later on at night. Uh, we're gonna have some dinner, I think, at Italy, Julie? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna check out Italy and uh, see what that's like and uh, bring you guys around, show you around a little bit tonight. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. So let's roll. First stop here, we're gonna go to CVS. We are picking up some toiletries that we need and gonna run back to the hotel real quick and then uh, get our, our evening started. Dollar pizza. I gotta stop here at Two Brothers Pizza, pick up my daughter a little slice, get her a dollar slice. She just wanted to kick it back and relax at the hotel, so she won't be coming with us, but let's go check it out. I dropped off the pizza. We're over here at Italy Cafe. This is on Broadway and 24th Street, right here, right next to the uh, Flatiron Building, which is being uh, worked on currently on this visit. Uh, I believe we have to have our vaccination cards on us or vaccine cards on us. I do have mine, so we'll see how this works. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's see what it's like. So we made our way up to Serra Rooftop. Uh, it's up here in Italy on the 14th floor. Uh, we didn't have a reservation or anything. They didn't even check our, our cards or anything like that. Uh, but uh, very nice uh, restaurant up here. Very, uh, I love the, uh, the aesthetic of the place. Uh, right now we're just having some appetizers. What, what is it called, dude? Arancini. Arancini with some bread. And uh, this has mozzarella, rice yep. and mozzarella on it. So oh, this is what Julie's uh, main dish is. What is this one, Julie? Tagliatelle pasta with shrimp. And I have these... Chicken scallopini. Scallopini di pollo. O pollo in español. And then we have our appetizer. Everything came out pretty fast. Yeah. So we're gonna sit down and enjoy our dinner. These are so good. Put a little cheese on there. Like that. I went up. Delicious. Excellent. These are so good, man. They're good, right? <laughs> My main dish is just a light, like salad with chicken. Uh, the chicken's excellent. It, it, honestly, it's really good, except I'm not crazy about the fennel. So, you want to share what you think about Italy? Oh, no, 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 sorry. This is. Serra rooftop bar. Yeah. Or rooftop. No, I thought it was great. Like, the service is good. Uh, the food is delicious. You can tell like the quality and the yeah. ingredients are really good. Um, yeah, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um, just pricey, but, but we're uh, in New York. Yeah. And overall, like really nice, like yeah. service, the ambiance, everything. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a cheap place to eat, this is not it. Uh, the service was great. The, our server was a nice, really nice guy and. Yeah, the food was excellent, really. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, we decided to get a little bit of dessert, so that'll be here shortly. I think we're gonna head over and check out the Ferris wheel that is currently at, it's a temporary Ferris wheel that's at uh, Times Square. So after that, we're gonna head, after this dessert, we're gonna head over there. Okay guys, before I leave, I wanna mention something I forgot to mention earlier. On the bottom floor here is the Italy Market, and uh, they have all things Italian cuisine there. You can pick up fresh pasta, pasta, fish, desserts. I mean, it's great in there. Uh, it's worth checking out. The cool thing is they also have these sections where you could eat like fish, pasta, pizza, and they cook everything there. And uh, it looks really good. So uh, it's worth the stop if you're here in New York, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the Sarah restaurant upstairs is nice, but it is expensive. We blew about a hundred bucks tonight on our dinner, uh, but we had uh, everything, you know, appetizer, beer, bottle, bottle of water, 
uh, dessert, our main dish. Uh, and so, you know, we had a good time. Uh, to us, it was, um, we had a couple of beers as well. So uh, tomorrow we'll be eating dollar pizzas. <laughs> but yeah, it's not cheap. September 2021. I'll just show you guys a little bit of the current state of Times Square. Kind of crazy how empty this was during the pandemic. I remember seeing this on TV, completely a ghost town. So good to see a lot of people out here. Good to see uh, businesses back open too. Okay, made it to Times Square, complete waste of time. I had no intention on visiting Times Square because I've been here multiple times and really nothing's changed. If anything, it feels a little bit greedier, grittier. But this is the Ferris wheel that uh, I saw on Instagram. They're making a, all this noise about, and I'm totally disappointed. There's no way I'm paying 20 or 35 bucks to go on that. Uh, there's no real cool view of anything there. I mean, probably just seeing Times Square that way, but I don't know. I'm just not convinced. So. At least I came to see it up close and personal. And in person, I mean. All right, leaving Times time Square. Spent a, a good hour there taking some photos. So, check these shots out. Uh, 235th rooftop, very nice rooftop. We've got a beautiful view here of the Empire State. There, so we're just enjoying the drink here, secondhand weed. My Having a good time, though, huh, babe? So, yeah, we wrapped up our first night in New York City at the 235th rooftop bar, which is located in Manhattan on the corner of 5th Ave and 27th Street. We were there on a Thursday night, so there was no cover to get in, and it was a really casual night. I would say the best thing about this place are the views. We enjoyed the spectacular views and the skyscrapers of New York City there. Uh, we had some drinks. They were really good, but pricey, so just keep that in mind. This place is not a cheap place to come hang out at, but that's to be expected in New York City. The atmosphere was really cool, had a real nice chill vibe to it, and the music was good. I hear they have a really good brunch on Saturday and Sundays, so that's something I may come back and check out in a future trip to New York City. But that's gonna do it for this vlog, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Just trying to share my experience with you guys, show you a little bit of uh, things to do in New York, something a little different. And uh, I will have a couple more videos from this trip coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss these. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.